Hello and welcome to Channel 2S. I'm your host, Second Soundwave, and it's time for some more Gunpla news. I'm going to say right off the bat that I'm recording this episode in the middle of the day, so if there's any background noise from other people milling about, I do apologize. So, first off, we got a bunch of new official images for things like the uh, Balu. I think I showed you the full-on front image of it, but we do also have a back image. And we have both of the flight units, and the front piece, as usual, is looking very, very, very cool. And just like with the high grade, the back part just looks like a couple legs. Then we have the Psychozaku. We have another image of it. This is of like the actual physical built-up kit. Looking pretty alright. Then we have some more official images here. We have the Charzaku 2. I th think this is looking pretty alright. I mean, with the fact that they're using the Zaku 2 molds with Zaku 1, I'm not too big on that since there's a lot of subtle differences between them. And using the same mold for both kind of removes some of those differences to the point where this is kind of just a Zaku 2 with a Zaku 1 head and chest. Like literally everything but the head and chest looks like it's just straight off the Zaku 2. But he does have a new gun with the belt feed, so that's pretty cool. Looking pretty nice. Official images of the build strike, and it looks like those shoulders are here to stay, which is a shame. But you know what? I might still get one anyway, because it does look kind of cool. And then for the rest of the official images, we have a couple of the Scramble Gundam, which is out, by the way. It's looking pretty cool. I mean, the transformation looks super lame, but still, I think I want, I kind of want to actually pick one up. And I'm also really hoping they use this as a basis for a revived Zeta Gundam, because all the stuff they need is there. They just got to do it. Then we have Shia's Quanta, which is also out now. And we have some, like, stock, just snap-built pictures of that. And I think the Bear Guy P is out now, too. Yeah, it is. Also out now is the character stand plate for Fumina, and the character bust, or figurized bust rather, for Setsuna. We also have an image of Fumina's figurized bust with the star winning Gundam, looking pretty cool. And then we have the Barbatos Lupus, and not only do we have an image here of the high grade that's looking pretty cool with the forearms guns from the option parts set, we also have box art, and I have to say, I am liking this Season 2 box art way better than the Season 1 box art. I just was not a fan of the original art at all. But what they've been doing for the Season 2 one, where they kind of put the character the character pilot face thing in like a separate window, and they turned the uh, outline from white to black, and they gave it like a hard outline instead of just a fade, it just looks so much cooler now, and I'm really glad they did it that way. And then also it looks like the next bust coming in February after uh, Fumina is Lacious Klein, or Lacious Sign, however however you pronounce her name. And she's looking alright, I guess. I mean, it's a seed bust, so... Eh. And then we have a nice official image here of the Strike Freedom. We get to see the accessories, and it looks like it's coming with a very, cl very cool clear blue beam shield, so that's looking pretty darn awesome. But we do have completely unpainted, completely unstickered pictures of the green and purple petite guys. So we got the guitar one, and we got the drum one. Obviously, these are going to need a, quite a bit of painting in order to get the, the uh, instruments. I almost said weapons there. Nope. These are bear guys. There's no weapons, just instruments. But still, they're going to need some painting. And then it looks like there's going to be a magazine set for the Astaroth that includes like a kind of brass knuckle thing and a really big kind of underslung railgun that's looking super awesome. I just, I like the look of that. I don't think I quite like it so much as the Astroth Origins standard weapons, but still pretty cool. And I think that just about does it. So yeah, this has been an episode of Gunpla News from Channel 2S, hosted by Second Soundwave. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like. If you're new here, subscribe for more Gunpla News and reviews. And if you want more 2S style content of just me and some friends chatting about Gundam, uh, go watch MS Report by clicking on the link in the description below. We just talk about Gundam and Gunpla and stuff, and it's pretty fun, and it is just an enjoyable thing to listen to or watch or whatever as you're building your Gundam model kits. So, this has been Second Soundwaves, and I will see you next time.